Alright guys, here I just want to show you a quick video on how to uh, chip a P28 ECU or uh, chip a Honda ECU and uh, we're here with the um, the OBD-1 Honda ECU and uh, very simple to start, you're going to remove the first five screws and you're going to remove the cover out of that, okay? I know it looks very complicated but we're only going to focus on this section right here. Okay, so we're not going to be worrying about anything else but only this section right here. So the easy and quick way that I found is to also flip it over and remove the, the bottom piece. Okay, if you're paying attention we're just focusing on, on this corner right here and nothing else. Instead of um, soldering and getting in, soldering and getting into the corners right here, you're going to be hitting this uh, the side piece right here um, so it's easier if we're soldering from this point okay so first thing that you need to worry about to, as far as desoldering is getting um, desoldering uh, wick okay so when I use a uh, desoldering wick it is the most uh, the quick and most cost-effective way uh, for me and it's really fast so I like to use uh, soldering wick I like to use the name brand stuff Kim wick um, this is one of the items that we're going to be using. Another thing is we're going to be using a tent tinner, um, which you're making sure that you keep your, your tip clean um, to make clean desoldering joints on this. Um, so first thing um, I want to focus on is your soldering tip. Okay, make sure it's clean, and you always want to tent. You always want to uh, tent your your tip. Okay. Um, when we desolder, when we desolder, what you want to do is you want to. Uh, I find it easier if you cut a small portion of it out, so it's easy. It's easy to maneuver with. Okay, so these are the points that we're going to be focusing on, and if you realize, if you flip it around, if you look. The section that we're going to be focusing on is actually it's actually outlined on the board. There's a little outline of everything that you need to desolder in the board. Okay, so not to confuse or not to uh, uh, confuse anybody, but this is this section is the only thing that we're going to wor be worried about. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to hit the iron on sideways and then that's a good hole. What you don't want to do is you don't want to poke the the thing like that okay yeah don't do that it's usually you're gonna uplift the tracks from it so this is the kind of concept of a of desoldering uh, ECU points on a so it should be very clean uh, and easy like that okay okay this is the installation of the kit um, here we have the 28 pin. Remember there's a notch right here that faces towards the ECU plugs and right here the notch right here is facing towards the ECU plugs as well. Um, this is installed. Here is the C52 and the C51 installed here. Um, the 4 pin header is installed here is for data logging. And then R54 is installed. We cut off R54, the leg of R54, and we installed the leg of J1. Okay. So this is the installed kit, and this is pretty much halfway done as far as the uh, complete um, ECU, okay? This is where you're going to uh, solder the joints. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure you heat up the point, and you're going to feed the, the solder into the, to the joint pretty quickly. And you're pretty much all uh, you're all said and done as far as everything is complete. Um, and it, you're, now your your ECU is ready to be installed for the chip. And basically, you're gonna 